So this is a Gauntlet Bird of Prey Centre. It was set up 25 years ago. It was set up by my dad. He started as a falconry centre, so we started with doing a lot of falconry stuff. And my dad, he travelled out to Africa when he was younger. He tra he's travelled everywhere, but he went out to Africa and he fell in love, and India as well, and he fell in love with vultures. He loves vultures, it's his passion. So um, he's gone more into conservation. He wants to help save animals in the wild. So a lot of the stuff we do now, a lot of the birds we have, we're not really a falconry centre anymore, we're a conservation centre, so a lot of the birds we have here are part of projects to help birds out in the wild. So I've kind of grown up from being a little lad, I've come and flown birds and I've been around and I've come on weekends when I was younger and come and work and stuff and chat to people and fly the birds and handle the birds, so I've been doing it from being a little lad. These vultures, these are American black vultures. They're actually not facing many issues in the wild. They're doing quite well. The only issue they're facing is lead poisoning. So hunters that kill like deer in America, they use lead bullets because they're scavengers. If they shoot an animal with a lead bullet and they go and eat an animal which has been shot with a lead bullet, it can kill them. So that's the only reason they're we're losing these. But in Africa, well, just they say over 85% of the population of vultures have gone out of Africa. And it's down to poachers most of the time. Now, poachers is one of the biggest reasons because they're killing elephants and rhinos and they poison the carcasses of the elephants and rhinos because when they kill these animals, they soar above the poachers and they get them caught, so they poison the carcasses now. They say the next five to seven years, we will have lost every single species of the vulture and they're so important because they, uh, they help the environment so much because they clean up. If you don't have vultures, your, uh, your ecosystem crumbles because they tell animals where carcasses are so they have a meal for themselves. Lions and everything rely on vultures to be able to find food and stuff like that. So it's, a, it's an animal you need. They eat around 70% of your carcasses as well. So if you don't have vultures, Africa's a much dirtier continent because all them carcasses are lying about, no one to eat them. So it's a, it's a really, really important animal. Well, we do the biggest bird of prey show. One of the biggest bird of prey shows in the UK. We fly tons of birds. I've always got ideas of what birds I can fly in the show, how I can link in with the show and everything to build a bit of a message for people. And that spreads a bit of a conservation message. You see nowadays people have a negative perception of zoos and, and I just want to change that because zoos are important. If you don't have birds in captivity, you don't have birds in the wild. That's how it works. You need these birds to help fund the ones in the wild. It's, it's simple as that. And then they're all here for a purpose, to educate. They're ambassadors for the ones in the wild. They're showing everyone and hopefully making that love with people. Especially if someone comes with a perception of a bird thinking, oh, it's evil and it's horrible. Especially with these guys. People come thinking they're evil, they're gonna eat them. And I showed them and I'm bringing them round and people get their own moment with the bird. It completely changes that opinion. So they're helping the ones in the wild, which I think is really, really important. And that's the only way conservation's gonna work. But that's just a massive thing we focus on. And if they can go away loving them, it's helping them in the wild. And then if they go away telling people about them, that one person could go off and tell 20 people. That's another 20 people that I didn't know. And if they come visit, also it's helping these guys. And because we have the charities and everything and we sell stuff for the charity, that's a, that's, that can be a good amount of money that we could go out to help these guys in the wild. And uh, yeah, it's just my passion. From being there from a little lad, I kind of know no different. It's always what I've done. So yeah, it's a massive passion of mine.